Hi, this is Phoenix, and I recently came out with a book called Exhaustion. I'm really excited about this book, and I haven't talked about it really on my YouTube page just yet. So I was hoping to talk about the story a little bit to kind of give you an idea and prime your imaginations for the book. I would start off with the title, which is Exhaustion. And the idea comes from my more refined idea, Universal Exhaustion. The idea that people are essentially at the end of their rope, and this is because they are extremely tired, extremely exhausted from this very difficult existence. Um, this book was inspired by Buddhism, uh, among other Eastern philosophies and religion. And the idea of universal exhaustion comes out of Buddhism uh, in terms of thinking about suffering. And the idea that suffering, or my term for it, exhaustion, are essentially one and the same thing. And they are things that we experience in day-to-day -day life. I would describe the characters in these book from Lucas to Raphael and Simon uh, to uh, some of the other characters in the book, such as Emily, are definitely very exhausted and they have suffered a lot. For instance, Raphael and Simon are street kids and they have dealt, they have been dealt a hard hand, a very difficult hand. And really there's a lot of uncertainty about their well-being until Lucas tries to take them in. Lucas is an interesting character because he is the main protagonist of the book, yet he is sometimes in a way not necessarily a protagonist because he's not necessarily fighting for anything. Though I guess if uh, you wanted to, you could say that he is definitely fighting for philosophy. And in that sense, he's definitely fighting for truth because he sees philosophy as a method for understanding truth and really coming to terms with some of the very difficult uh, themes and ideas that we deal with in this world, some of the difficult circumstances and events. And so he pushes himself so that way he can understand reality as it is, so he can um, more easily uh, make better choices. So for Lucas, it is a very ethical choice and a very ethical issue for him. The difficulty with Lucas is that he suffers mentally, and so he's definitely all over the map in this book. Uh, definitely a lot of anger, some psychosis, a lot of confusion, lashing out at people that he loves. And that paints, uh, that, that paves the way for the very interesting relationship that Lucas and Simon have. Simon of which is a street kid uh, who is friends with the other street kid, Raphael. Raphael of who is, is, is definitely Hispanic. But the reason why Lucas uh, and his relationship with Simon is interesting is because Simon has always wanted a father. And you find out later in the book that Simon is actually um, Lucas's kid. There are a lot of uh, a lot of interesting details that make that possible. Um, uh, dealing with one of the speculative themes in this book, which is the idea of reincarnation or a life that exists uh, outside of our kind of expected parameters of what life is. When thinking about time as being linear and being in a very specific way. So technically, the Simon in this book should not exist because he hasn't been born yet, and yet, nonetheless, he does exist as a street kid. I also wanted to talk about uh, Simon's relationship with Raphael. The two boys really like each other. They are gay, and their friendship, their love is, is built on their friendship for each other, uh, as indeed they are very, very close in this book. And there's a very powerful moment early on in the book called The Dark Kiss, which deals with Simon and Raphael kissing each other and essentially um, essentially, uh, essentially, Raphael taking out Simon's life, uh, kind of absorbing his life force. Um, and in that way, the, the kiss is definitely very uh, painful, even though it evokes affection and love. Um, the book also deals, uh, aside from Eastern philosophy and religion, it deals with existentialism. Uh, which seems to be an opposing uh, thread and an opposing uh, philosophy of the East in that it focuses a lot on really dark realities. It focuses on a kind of atheistic world, uh, a, a world um, without speculation or without any touch of the mystic or the divine. That's not completely true because, of course, there is Kierkegaard, though I would describe existentialism as being a very dark philosophy that I certainly wanted to explore in this book. So there's a lot of references to uh, the existentialists such as Sartre and Dostoevsky, uh, as well as people like Heidegger. Dasein is definitely a very important theme in this book. 
because it deals with the idea of being. So I'm asking a lot of ontological questions in this book of what um, it means to be, what it means to exist. And as I said before, Lucas is definitely struggling with the idea of what actually exists and he's trying to come to terms with his reality and what he perceives. There's much more that I could go into with this book, but I'll leave it at this for now, but I hope that you'll check the book out. You can find the book on my Amazon author page at amazon.com slash author slash phoenix underscore rises. It is available for Kindle, uh, and the book is relatively inexpensive uh, for Kindle. Um, and if you like paperback, you can definitely get a copy of the book as well through paperback um, and through Amazon. This is Phoenix, and I hope you enjoyed this talk about this book, and I hope that you'll check it out. Uh, again, the book is Exhaustion, and I consider it to be one of my best books, uh, especially because of the themes that I deal with and the characters that I've created. This is Phoenix, and thank you.